Hello and welcome to Paper Plays, Julie Kay. Welcome everyone. I'm so happy that you could stop by and join me today for the January installment of Crack That Vault Collab. This monthly collab is hosted by Poet Spice and it's all about using up supplies from our craft vault or craft stash that we have been hoarding or haven't used. And if you open up that description box below, I will have everything that you need to know about the collab along with links for the other talented designers who are taking part in this monthly collab. And so for this month, I did decide to go through some of my cutting dies and I actually found that I had quite a few cutting dies that made like little mini books that, and I haven't used many of them. So I'm sure you guys will maybe see another one, another mini book type, um, episode pop up again sometime in the future in this collab but I did for this month decide to pull out this one and it's an Eileen Hull Sizzix extra large cutting die and it makes a little passport book and I will hold this up so you can check out the number and it, again it's called the passport book it's, it's a pretty simple die um, I don't know if you can kind of see the parts there's like the little pieces here that I use for the cover that I cut out. Then there's the spine and it has all the little holes and everything already for you. And then the pages that you fold in half to make the signatures. And this one does create um, three signatures in it. And of course you can cut out as many pages as you want. I also decided to pull out some paper that I hadn't used before or broke into so I did um, pull out this early bird collection from Bow Bunny and it's kind of a nice little like floral themed type paper pad lots of pretty little papers in it and then I also had some die cuts that matched it that I used a few of those also and so I did end up creating two of these little passport books and I thought they would be perfect for uh, my sister who likes to do some scrapbooking and she likes to put uh, pictures of her kids in them and sometimes she hands them out as little gifts and stuff to the grandparents and so I thought it'd be fun just to gift her one that was that all she had to do was pop in the photographs so that was kind of my thinking and then I'm thinking the other one I'm just going to hand out in some sort of happy mail for one of my crafty friends to to be able to have a little book that she can use for whatever she wants and so I'm just going to open up one of them because they're both pretty much exactly the same the paper order might change in them and I did start off with like some chipboard pieces for the cover and I covered it with pink cardstock. And then after that, all the other paper besides the pink cardstock is paper that came from that Bow Bunny paper collection. They had some different sheets where you could cut out the little smaller images. They also had some little bigger ones like this that you could cut out that had words or sentiments on them. And so I did use those also in this little passport book. I also chose to add some fun rosette trim over the spine. It looked good without the rosette trim, but I just wanted a little extra embellishment. And then I also added some flat back pearls to the side here. And so here you can see like one of those little sentiments. Again, I left most of the pages pretty blank to add the photographs to. And there were some cut aparts and I tried to make them so that you could actually use them as tuck spots if you wanted to tuck a photograph or something underneath them. And unfortunately the paper was only one sided so on some of the papers I had to cut out uh, pieces of the Bow Bunny paper to cover up the white paper just to, so that there was something pretty on each page. I did find that this was a pretty easy little project to do if you happen to have this die cut and you've never used it. I was able to create both of these little um, passport books in an afternoon. You know, kind of a long afternoon, but it, I did create two of them. So it was a fun, fun little project. And I also think it would be fun like if even like next year for Christmas or something, they would make fun little stocking stuffers too if you like to, to make handmade gifts for for Christmas or, or birthdays or something or a happy mail that these would be some quick little projects if you had an afternoon to make them. I really did like how they turned out. I really liked the paper collection. Um, I 
thought it was cut a little bit shabby, but not so shabby. It's also kind of reminds me of spring, so it's kind of a fun little paper collection. I think that was my favorite sentiment was find me where the wild things are. I thought that I liked that one. So I did use that one in both of the books since um, the paper had had two two of every page in there. So that's the last little page and then there's my back cover. So again, I just wanted to thank everybody so much for watching today. I hope you were inspired by my cute little um, passport book. And I would encourage you to dig through your stash to see if you have any little mini albums or mini books that you could use to create something similar. And then I also would encourage everybody to open up the link to check out the other designers. I know I will be checking out everybody's video also this month to see what they created. And until next time, um, thank you guys again so much for watching. And until next time, have a wonderful day and happy crafting.